Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm coming from you from Sarasota, Florida. We're back at Sarah Bay Marina. Um, they're having a uh, inventory showcase tonight. Um, like I've told you um, in my story, uh, they're gonna have World Cat, Invincible, Cobalt, Albemarle, and Key West. And it's always hustling and bustling here. As you can see up there, they just got a delivery of three new Key West boats. Um, but I just wanted to walk around and do some uh, walkthroughs real quick on some of the uh, boats that they will have on showcase that I find interesting. Um, so let's let's take a look. All right, the first one we're gonna check out is this beast. It's actually in the water. Um, it is a beast, but check this out. This is the 40 CCX, um, obviously center console. It is available for sale and it has the new twin 600 Mercury's on there. V12's. Those things are massive. I don't know if you can get a good look at it. We'll go ahead and step on here. pretty bad um, I think our feet are clean we're gonna jump in here anyway we're on the 40 as you can see has a little cooler here a nice uh, aft facing bench seat so you can watch your lines as you're working them under here The sink and a prep station. Oh, a little grill actually. Just one outfitted with a grill. I think this is a little yep, refrigerator storage compartment there. <clears throat> Obviously, this is to your village area very roomy get your pumps and your batteries nice little slam latches instead of that twist deal aquarium style live well access to on top there you got a little grab handle there more access to village I think you can this is storage for now where you can actually Oh, no, they got the uh, seat keepers in here. This is a seat keeper too. I've seen in other videos they've had maybe a seat keeper 3 on this side. And yep, there it is. Seat keeper 3 on this side. So you can't add seat keepers to the cat. Nice padded for your rods there. You got a uh, some cup holders here. Uh, rod holders on top a nice ladder to get up to your second station if you had one of course they're outfitted with jail audio most world cats are nice uh, helm pad these things are great for long days of fishing three row seating captain's chairs Obviously with the fold down bolsters, all of them have armrest, even the center one. So it's a center wheel setup. It looks like it has three 20 inch garments there. Um, this has got the uh, Mercury uh, joystick, obviously because it's got the Mercury engines. Some storage here. Got the uh, mercury gauges there. Additional storage. More storage there. There's your fusion. I'm not sure if this one is outfitted with the air conditioner, but these are the vents for it. This is just a little step down. Um, 
what do you call it? So it just makes it higher. And then you get your batteries in there, but I'm not gonna open that. <laughs> More rod holders here that go through the top. Kind of like other brand, like Invincible. It's got the nice side uh, floodlights there, glass enclosure, and then we come up to the front. This has got the front opening cabin here with the toilet, access to your electronics, a sink, very nice opens forward so it doesn't block your view if someone's trying to get in there while you're running or something <clears throat> of course it's got the have you seen the cat track seating it runs on those cat those tracks right there you can move these seats any configuration you want to the center all the way to one side and then the back. It's different. I mean, I'm not sure if I would configure it that way, but it definitely is something different. Um, not to say there's more storage under here on both sides. Rod holders there. So if you did have it in the center position, it'd be like a coffin box almost. And then you have storage under here. We're not gonna take all the pads off, but there's more storage under here. It's a really big rod, rod holder. And these are magnetized, so there's no more buttons. You don't have to worry about trying to push them down and all that. Then you have your, um, your windlass is gonna be on this side and it comes out to the side and goes straight forward. Here's your top. It can be outfitted with the radar, probably a good, a nice six foot radar would fit on this, would look great. Um, you have the vent on top there that opens, nice big windshield. Oh, didn't want to forget about your fish boxes. Lots of storage here. I think you can actually uh, opt to have additional tanks or fuel tanks. I'm not sure, we had to check with Mike. But you can opt to add more fuel capacity to this boat. This boat is bad. If I were to get another boat, this would be it. I don't know if I would do the twin 600s. I'd probably do quads. I really like the Yamahas, but man, check these things out. You can't even, you can't even get, I can't even really, explain to you how big these are they're huge anyway this is the 40 ccx it is available for sale get it with mike dickinson or send me a dm and uh i can i can i can uh shoot you in the right direction of course it's got the uh nice little tuna door here perfect for those days like this where you're at the dock and you just want to step right off. So that's it for the 40ccx. All right, here we go. This is the 280DC. Um, it's actually being sold by uh, Jesse Langston up here at Sarah Bay. So obviously there's a number. Call him if you're interested in this one. But we'll just show you real quick. Here we go to 280DCX. If you're into this kind of boat, um, come check this one out. It's pretty good size. It's a 280, 290. It's a it, it's a really good size. Um, obviously, our buddy Jerry has a 295, and it's 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 a it's a very fishable boat. I mean, don't think that these boats cannot be fishing boats. Um, let's jump on it real quick. Step in here, powered by the twin 200 Yamahas. Got a little side door there, but you still got the signature dive ladder 
that ever, especially divers love that and i love it i mean it's it's a, it's it's a lot easier than that little pull out ladder that you can barely step on and you hurt your feet and you can barely grab and whatever so here you have access to your bilges just like the others up this locked i think this is a refrigerator your sink should be there's a live well under there um, it's your helm I think it's got looks like a it could be a 16 inch Garmin and a Yamaha CL7 with your fusion stereo up top nice big captain chair and on this side I think yes it does but there's a way that this flips to the front so it's one big pad I don't know how to do it though this might be locked there you go this is access to your bathroom it's nice and deep it goes down into one of the sponsons and guess what life is better on the boat true statement Shale audio just like the others and a nice horseshoe seating here for all your guests and then there are storage or coolers underneath it and then access to your anchor lockers there a windshield this one folds over tucks down the wind um, but this is the 280 DC X if you want to check it out like I said it's being listed by Jesse Langston check this little cat out all right the next boat we're going to check out here is the new uh, 260 or 26 foot uh, world cat and they have it here on a trailer it's the new 260 CC X here you see it in the uh, nice world cap blue the same color as mine um, this one's got the white powder coating I don't know if it has this I doubtful it has a shadow package since it is white but this is it on the outside we'll do a little walk around nice little mirror grill there that's different I like that it's definitely different As course uh, with uh, with all cats, they always look bigger on a trailer, but once you get them in the water, they're all small, um, or they shrink, I should say. But this is it out of the water, and we'll step inside and take a look. All right, <clears throat> obviously we're gonna start from the back here. This one has the Mercury 200s on them. I've heard a lot of people say these are a lot more fuel efficient than the Yamahas and quieter and more, uh, I think they're more torquey. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is the uh, back. And then it has the fold down seat here. It folds down flat. I probably had to get Mike to show me how to do that. I'm not quite sure how to do that, but we'll just step over it for now. Um, I think this is a live well. Yep. Nice little live well in the back corner here. We have two of them. Actually, this might be the live well, and that other one might be. You can probably plumb it for a live well because this one's painted blue. You got a combo rod holder, cup holder here. Access to your bilges, your batteries, your pumps, your switches. Nice 
makes these things very serv serviceable. Um, obviously it comes with a cooler here, but they don't have it on here. A little drawer. Another access to your bilge. Nice little rod holder with the pad. I really like how they do that. That's a, that's a nice touch. I got it on both sides. <clears throat> Come to the helm here. I think it has the 12 inch Garmin's. Obviously with the Mercury vessel view here. The Optimus um, joystick. And this one is, is already in full forward. But um, the storage compartment here. Different kind of seating configuration. I heard it's very comfortable. I haven't really got out and rode it and sat on it. This is actually my first time on one. I saw it when I was here last time picking up my boat. I saw it in the water, but I didn't want to get on it because there was no one around to ask. So I didn't jump on it. But since today is the inventory showcase, I'm, I'm allowed to. So anyway, these, this is the seating. Awesome stitching here. That's really nice. That's a nice touch. Obviously your rod holders. I'm assuming this is good enough to pull like steers and, and floats and whatnot. It's got that. Got your Garmin VHF there, your fusion stereo, more storage. Probably access to your fuses, access if you had a radar. Nice little fold up seating. You probably they'll probably throw on a helm pad. I don't know for extra or whatever and some more padding here and here. Really nice. Rod holders which run up through the top like the 40. JL audio. This is probably cut out for your outriggers. Um, more JL audio there. And then you got speakers forward facing here. It's a different style. You got those rear facing and these forward facing, which is really unique to these Worldcats. And then you have access to your helm here. Nice. There's a the pad for the, uh, the front. Don't think there's a toilet in here. I'm not sure if it comes with one. Not that I... really let people use it anyway more stitching up there it's different that's nice um, this pad folds up and is actually your front seat so it folds down to make a, a deck here and then obviously fish boxes here or storage and then more fish boxes here that's that's deep that goes that goes back so you don't have to worry about you can get a bunch of tuna mahi red snapper one or two you know the liver that you can catch depending on what uh, side of the coast you're on your windlass and your anchor lockers which are probably some vendors a nice little rigid light and a good roof a good roof to put on uh, some electronics, radars, whatnot. So we'll have one of them maybe demonstrate how to put this uh, seat down, but I'm sure this folds down. This this whole thing folds down flat, and I think there's actually a bench that folds down there you can that you can sit on. So this is nice. This is the new 26. Um, so we'll move on to a, let's see what other ones we can get on. All right, this is the this is a brand new Worldcat 235 CC. Brand new. They looks like they just took some of the wrapping off of it. And there's still some straps on it, but yeah, this is brand spanking new. For any of you interested in a Worldcat 23, it's got the Yamaha 150s on it. Doesn't even have the props on them yet. Um, Yeah. As you can see there, this is 
the inside. Nice flat deck there. That's your, uh, your live well. These fold up to be seats. Awesome casting deck there. There'll be a cooler there. Looks like it's equipped with the Garmin 12 inch with the CL7. It's got a JL Audio head unit and a Garmin VHF. It's a good, good flats boat if you don't want to go super offshore. All right, this is the, I think this is a 2023 325. It's outfitted just like mine, except with little nuances like the white engines. Um, mine has the dual VHF, but this one does have the open array radar, but it is the same color. So we're not going to jump on this one. I mean, if y'all want to check this one out, just watch some of my fishing videos and you can see or you can see my watch my um, cat out of the bag video this one has the rigid uh, light bar this one has a regular trailer I don't even think this trailer goes with it but different regular trailer but yeah this is the 325 just like mine all right we're gonna step into this invincible this is the Invincible 33. This one is the uh, new um, model they came out with, but this one's actually used. Um, I think it's got less than 60 hours on it. It's very, very unused, but used. So we'll step in. Obviously, it's got the like a whisper gray color on it. I'm not sure the actual technical. Awesome black. Uh, powder coating with the black underside and even the second station's got black black on black everything black logo got the black mercury 400 on it like i said i think less than 60 hours um this is used but it is for sale so let's step up in there all right um, you've you've seen already seen us on this boat before at the uh, Miami Boat Show, but obviously um, we'll just do another quick walkthrough since this one is for sale. Um, this is your little tuna door here. It's got the rod holders built in on both sides. Here. Close that. Uh, as we've shown you before, access to your bilge. We've got some nice pumps. Really nice pumps. That's very deep, very clean. I think he's got this plumb for a live well, but it also could be a fish box. He added a little bench here, which is pretty different. Got your methane well there. Now, have you seen? Um, Like it's got two 20 inch garments. I don't know if they're the 220s or 22s. Probably access to your batteries there. Got a triple bench seat here. All of your push buttons. Nice and clean. Now that's one thing I wish World Cat had was a push button. Um, a fish box. <clears throat> Now that's the, it looks like it's small, but it actually goes very far into there, so that's good. Bunch of rod holders, rod holders galore. Obviously go through the top, glass enclosure, you've got it tinted. <laughs> That's really custom. Another box there. We'll open this. Oops. 
coffin box storage it looks like it has all the covers so that means it's got three sections this one has like the uh as you see it has the uh, little graded area it's like raised so you can put dry stuff to keep cool oh man that thing is still strong this thing is brand new guys it's only got less than 60 hours one of the wash downs more uh floor storage access to your anchors storage here anchor here this one had comes with the road in i think it's a 96 inch wash down lot holders and your second station that's pretty that's pretty dope so this is the invincible 33 it is available for sale so get with mike dickinson on this one Right, let's check out some other different brands i know we uh are kind of biased to world cat but we're going to check out these um key west boats they have also here at cerebe marina and we'll start out with the uh the smaller one here it looks like a 20 foot it looks like a 203 fs let's check it out here it is excuse the airplane we're by an airport on it yamaha as you can see um this one doesn't have a ladder going up in there so this is the inside looks like it's got a little seven inch or nine inch garment on there your regular gauges um cooler there under the captain's seat this is a perfect little starter boat for anyone um it's got this, this the, uh horseshoe seating up front and then we'll take a look at this little flats boat here. See, it's got the Minn Kota trolling motor on it. Nice casting deck there. Front seat, I think might be a cooler underneath there. Access to your helm. This one has a bigger screen on it. Looks like maybe a 10 inch. Carmen, it's got the Yamaha CL5. Nice flat deck here. It's got the Yamaha 200 on the back. That looks like definitely like a flat boat. A bay boat. Here's the 219 FS. Slightly bigger than the 20, the 203. Also Yamaha 200, another Key West Bay boat in a different color. <clears throat> and this is a 239 uh, FS. They're almost all pretty similar. They just go up in size. Screen size, that looks like a 12 inch Harman with a Yamaha CL7. Nice two tone seating paired with the uh the custom what would you call that like the aqua got the uh color coordinated to the decals there to the boat and then you have a 263 This one has twins on it though. Twin Yamaha 250. So this one's got a lot more power. And actually those are the new Yamahas as you can tell by the cowling. It's the new Yamaha. As the uh, steel drum plays under the sea. Now let's go check out a boat that I've been not interested in but like intrigued by. It's the uh, Albemarle. Let's check these boats out. All right, here we are at the Albemarle, I, I can't say that, Albemarle um, Carolina Classic. And this, I'm not sure what size this is. 
but it's a very pretty boat i'm sure it's a very heavy boat it's got the triple i'm assuming these are 300s they look like 300s he had all the decals and emblems taken off but they look like 300s so i'm gonna assume this is a a 32. Let's step up in here it's got a nice platform door just like the world cat pop it open got this nice uh teak looking sea deck on it taco thatches that's locked nice bilge area there deep clean finished super clean Open. Anyways, the uh, the cockpit area back here, plenty of room for fishing with all your rod holders. Pretty standard. A little cooler underneath the seat. Looks like you have you can get a cover there. Goes all the way across. Uh, Wet sounds throughout. You step up into the helm area. You got no more wet sounds behind. Looks like uh, twin 16 inch Garmin's. Got your Garmin VHF, your Yamaha CL5. You got, oh, you got dual VHF. I love that. You know, I'm a big fan of that. Probably access to switches. No, just a little storage area. Okay. Cup holder. Looks like a fully adjustable captain's chair. Dual chair for some passengers there. A little storage thing there. And then I'm not sure if these are open. Yeah, they're probably locked. Which is fine. But we've got the zippered uh canvas there throughout and then this is glass and then you got the uh, bow there but this is the albemarle 32 i'm pretty sure i mean he literally took off all the emblems so i can't tell now let's check out a smaller one all right this one might be a 28 or 29 um it's got the twin yamahas on there Possibly also 300s. I can't tell. They took off the emblems. Get up in there. Nice color scheme with the uh, gray and uh, red boot stripe. Very pretty, very, very pretty boat. Baywell in the back. your fish box let's close the door yeah fish Ooh, that's full of water probably need, probably need to address that then your uh bilge yeah very nice oh it's got a light in there that's nice clean that's super clean brand new oh it's got the uh wet sounds they're lit up I think that's a, that's a little bench seat. That sounds. Rod holder just like the other one. It's got the smaller garments on it. I think these are 12s. CL5 single VHF here. Your wet sounds are lit up. And then probably your bathroom area. Very nice and deep. And your garment cover sink. A step. Okay. That's locked. That's your door to close this area off. And then your horseshoe seating up front.
for the fold windshield. This is the Albemarle. Not sure what size. I was going to assume in the 20, 26, 29 range. Um, I wonder if we could turn this pump on. Anyway, we'll check it out. Let's check out some other things. All right, here's another Albemarle. This has got twin 250s on it. Mike just told me this is a 30, so that one might be... I don't know. I think the one in the back is bigger than this one, but he says that one in the back is smaller. I don't know. Anyway, we'll walk up in this one. And plus, I just I just doused Mike with the uh, bilge pump, which was pretty funny. Wish I had that on video. But anyway, this is the uh, other Albemarle. You see here, kind of the same setup. Looks like a box here in the center instead of on the uh, sides. Yep. So, <clears throat> got one big Garmin in it. Looks like a 20 or a 22. Single VHF. Wet sounds. Same, same. Horseshoe seating. Windshield. I'll be curious to see how these ride. I heard they ride really good um, because of their weight. But, and they look good. I mean, I really, really, really love this combo. The gray with red. That's a really cool combo. But all of these are for sale. This one, that one, that one. Um, there's one over there. Also got triples on it. I'm not sure if that one's for sale. It might be a customer, but it's, that's also here. And this is the one. This one's not for sale. Very similar to my World Cat 325. So let's see if there's anything else we need to check out. Let's go check out these DC World Cats. Alright, here we have the 280 CCX. This is a brand newer model. Not like the uh, used one we look at in the water. Getting the lights all lit up, and this is a 255 DC. I like this color combo also. A little black and blue. With the silver. Miguel there. Getting them all lit up. The 23 we looked at earlier. And this is a 230 SD. So all these boats are available for sale including the two Invincibles up front. The two the Invincible Air and the Invincible Air. That's a 35. That used to be Slammerosa's boat. And that one used to be 3C, it looks like. That's a 33, a new 33 cat with a tower. That, that one's really bad. And that's a really, really, man, they, they slayed some fish on that boat. So come check them out, Sarah Bay Marina.